Hi, home chef. Welcome to the Wap Life. I'm Will, and this is my playground. In this kind of trying a new flavor or new dish video, I thought I will make a stir fry noodle with shrimp, some really lots of green, with a little bit of bacon. But the main flavor profile I was thinking about is actually oyster sauce, some fish sauce, and dark soy sauce. I thought these three combined together will put a really nice stir frying um, flavor with noodles, and let's see how it goes. So to start off, going to start with the sauces. Once you prep it, then it's good to go. A little bit of oyster sauce. I'm making about two portions today. I'm uh, also using homemade egg noodles and a little bit of soy sauce. Oh, sorry, this is fish sauce. Not too much though, because I don't want it to be too salty. And these dark soy sauce. It's a bit sweeter. It adds really nice dark color. Okay. So the sauces are good to go. I'm going to keep them here. As I'm stir frying, we'll see how it goes. A little bit of sugar to balance it out. This is actually coconut palm sugar. I think it adds a little bit of nice molasses flavor, a little bit smoky, but not as sweet. Just gonna stir this up, put it aside, and the stir fry sauce is good to go. I have the water boiling in the back for the noodles. These homemade noodle only takes about three minutes to boil. So I'm gonna finish prepping before I start it off. Have some bacon. Just gonna, nice big chunks. Don't need to be very precise. Okay, go off to the side. The aromatics is some of these nice fresh chili and garlic. These chilies are not very spicy. It mainly adds a lot of flavor. Although my partner always says, whatever it's spicy to you, or whatever it's not spicy to you is too spicy for most people. Put them into little discs. You can use jalapeno as well. I just like the red color. Mm. They do smell really nice. And already the bacon and the chili together, really, really beautiful. Just rough chop on these garlic. And they're good to go. In the stir frying process, they will cook down. Okay. Put that together, they're going at the same time. So not too much of a problem. I'm using guideline today. You can use any leafy green if you like. These stems are a little thick, so I'm just gonna cut it right here in the middle. So we will bit more evenly cooked. Also a little bit easier to eat as well. On the really thick ones like this, I'll just do a cross cut. Now I'll just cut them to about two inches long. I'll put the leaf at the bottom because I do want the stems to go into the wok first. I'll just double quickly check that you can pull them apart. Like this is very thick. Then I'm going to give it a, another quick chop. Okay, so these are on top. With the shrimp, I really want to do something with it. These are shell in and head on, which add really great flavor. So what we're going to do is to take the shell, we're gonna fry it to make some really nice shrimpy oil. And then we pick up the shell into the pasta water. So the pasta is also infused already while cooking, have that shrimp flavor. So simply, quickly. 
You can simply use already de uh, shrimp as well. But I do like using them. It adds really nice flavor. Whoa, look at that. I'm just gonna give the belly a quick. I'm not cutting the belly at the back. You can also de it while you add it. It's a little bit dirty. Uh, as I learned, they're shrimp poo poo. Everything is prepped so we can get started. I'm going to fry up these shrimp shells first so I can take them into the pasta water. The pasta water is already boiling and it only takes about three minutes. So when I'm done with everything here, it should be just good to go. The wok is hot when you know it's smoking. It's gonna add a bit, a little bit extra oil in here. Let's get these thing going. Ah, you know what? Why not? These little chili ends are great to go as well. Don't have to waste anything. You want it to just char a little bit on um, all sides, turning nice and pink and you can pick up the shell and put it into the pasta water. Let's get that ready. The pasta is boiling. Just gonna pick up the shells, let it go in. This is how you can make quick shrimp stock as well. Okay, put that aside. You can see the water is already turning nice and pink. Drop in the noodles. And three minutes, just about. Spread that out a little bit. While the noodle is going, we can prepare the rest. I like to start off with the vegetables. It just comes off with a little bit too much moisture. So if I start off with that, it can really get rid of the extra moisture that I don't need. I want the stir fry noodle to be relatively dry. Just adding a little bit more oil. Still giving off that shrimp flavor. 30 seconds, go with the leaf. The vegetables are just about ready. I'm gonna pick it up. Be faster if I dump it here. Just a slight bit more oil, so we can use that to draw the fat from the bacon. I do want it to render, but at the same time, I don't want them to turn into crispy. Still have some bites to it. Cooking really fast. Put oil in the middle for the aromatics to go in. Might get a little choky because of the chili. Okay, that also goes out. Now it's ready for the sauce. The noodle is just about ready. Three minutes goes by very quickly. I'm actually gonna turn the heat down a little bit. To the point. Gonna get the pasta too. So you're gonna let the water thickening it a little bit here. Because the pasta water has the starch, I don't even need thickening. And while I'm letting that simmer away, the rundo is perfect. I'm gonna drop in the shrimp as well, right now. 
It may seem like a lot of sauce for this amount of noodle, but once you add everything in, it will be just right. Add back in the bacon and the aromatic. And the vegetable from earlier as well. <coughs> Ooh. Tidy up as you go. And just give it a little stir. Just gonna give it a little taste to make sure everything is balanced. That noodle. Has just a little heat from chili. Sweet and balanced. Everything is cooked. Let's plate this. Nice big plate for the noodles. Okay, let's see. Can pick up the noodle and let it sit in the center. Now, the vegetables can go on one side, the extra ones. Maybe the shrimp come to the side here. Do real like symmetry. Put one on top maybe. Maybe on this side. Rest can go down. Found another shrimp. The sound of walk the handle. Here we go. This is a stir fry with dark soy sauce, oyster sauce, a little bit of fish sauce as well. Thinking about wanting to have shrimp, lots of veggies, and the aromatics really let it stand out. And it's a meal on its own. You got the protein, you got your greens, and your carb as well. What's there not to love? Gonna give another taste here, but this time I'm gonna grab a little bit more. Gonna get the vegetable and the noodles together. Mm. It's full of shrimp flavor coming from. Ooh, Frying the shells and also cooking in the shrimp stock for the pasta or for the noodles. I hope you get to enjoy, try out this recipe. And until next time, keep on cooking. Thank you for sticking around till the end. I hope you enjoyed the video, the recipe, and also get to try out a little bit. Feel free to join the community, leave your comments or suggestions down below. Any new ideas for a new recipe you want me to try or want me to test out, happy to do it here for you. And if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button and subscribe so you can always hear the latest from me. Thank you for dropping by The Walk Life. Oh, <coughs> smells really great.